Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Googly Bushcraft channel. Okay. Oh, is that scary? I'm sorry, my love. Uh, yeah, some of you might not have seen this before, or one of these. Move it a bit closer. Uh, hang on. This is what's called a kindling cracker. It was apparently invented by a 13-year-old girl from New Zealand. You're supposed to use a hammer. Sorry if the banging's a bit loud. But another log works fine. So you've just got a, a blade in there. It's all contained in this ring. Quite a smart idea. To be honest, I've never used this before. And to be honest, I'm not 100% overly impressed. Fair enough. Day off work today. I'm in work because I've been using the workshop. I've been uh, teaching some of the guides how to make knives. Something that something that I like to teach the youngsters to do, so that everyone who comes and works here can uh, leave with a knife. I've also been doing a bit of work on one of my axes. So thank you. <laughs> So this is an old, old Fisker's axe. I uh, I bought it on auction on, for 10 euros. I wasn't expecting to get it, to be honest, but I got it. Uh, really short handle on it, didn't really fit. And now it's, uh, I've taken it off. I've rehung it. Good and solid now. Just need a bit of, a bit of oil on the handle. So... Uh, I should maybe have made a video about that, but, you know, making videos and teaching people to make knives at the same time, it's a little bit, a little bit too much, really. So, well, that's what I've been up to. So, me and Uni are having a party, aren't we? Yeah, so, within the last couple of hours... No, do we not like that? Within the last couple of hours, I've hit 800 subscribers. So, I'd just like to say a big thank you very much to everybody who subscribed and everybody who watches my videos and everybody who supports the channel. And uh, Yeah, so it's been getting on for two years. Uh yeah, it'll be two years in, in January, so, yeah, it's all going really good. So, I'm consistently getting a 1,000 views a week. Uh, it's been up to 2,000. Uh, so, yeah, for everyone who's helped out, who's commented, and, uh, yeah, in, in particular, well, one thing that always surprises me about YouTube is just how supportive other people on other channels are and the constant encouragement from, from other people with with similar sized channels. And yeah, I mean, everyone's been absolutely amazing. And well, thank you all. Cheers. Kippies. So what have I got planned for the future? Well, uh, hopefully I'll be getting away from this place for a little while. I need a holiday. Uh, I'm definitely going to try and avoid going back to England with the with the lockdown. Uh, so I've <laughs> I've really got no idea. I'd like a little winter break somewhere, uh, which will give me time to do some more videos. Uh, I've got some more knife reviews coming up. I uh, 
I really don't need to be buying so many knives, but the <laughs> the knife reviews get more views than anything else, and it gives me a very good excuse to uh, to buy more knives, uh, which I really don't need. But I've got one in the post at the moment, and uh, yeah, there'll be a review coming up of that very soon. So to any of our guides that are watching, no, that's not the fire lay that I teach you. Uni, I hope your paws are clean. So this is the coater. So basically we had the we had the logs delivered already cut with the uh, saddle notch joints. And we put the roof on, the windows obviously, and we made at least most of the furniture ourselves. So, yeah, I was quite pleased with the, with the little table. Oh yeah. And uh, the clients on the multi-day safaris uh, sleep here for the first night and sleep in the wilderness cabins for the rest of the time and we also have little functions in here and uh, you know a few souvenirs yeah I'd show you from outside but it's uh, it's really dark at the moment so I can't Take two on this one, uh, it might just be uh, mainly my accent that's the problem, but I was just explaining that these Nutukat are made from reindeer calves, and I didn't mean baby reindeers, I meant the calves, uh, and also the shins, basically it's the lower part of the leg. Uh, these are worn by the Sami people, uh, quite an interesting little thing. And uh, if you can see the seam underneath, I, I'm pretty sure normally it's further back, but the hair is facing in a different direction in the front part and in the back part. So in the front part, the hairs are facing backwards and in the back part facing forwards. And what this does is it gives a bit of grip in both directions. And... Uh, on ice and compacted snow and, you know, I mean, around roads and places like that, as if you're out in the forest with your reindeer, you should be uh, perfectly fine, but they are quite, they can be quite slippery. I've seen a lot of people fall over wearing these, especially on a Saturday night coming out of Cafe Cilia. I don't know how well you can make that out, but we needed uh, postcard holders and uh, I'd smashed my leg up a little bit in a snowmobile accident, <laughs> so I couldn't really do any proper work, <laughs> so I got to do some carving. <laughs> I used to make a lot of these uh, when I was in my early 20s and it's uh, been a long time since I made one. Yeah, that works out all right. One little idea that I've been playing with, which I, which I'll probably get round to doing some point, is uh, doing another channel in Spanish. Uh, more to practice my Spanish than anything else, because as as some of you might know, I I used to live in Spain and. Uh, I used to speak Spanish every day in work and yeah, I used to actually sometimes struggle with trying to find words in English because the Spanish words are coming to my head. I'm, I'm really not very good with, with languages. I, uh, I can learn them, but uh, it's always at the expense of uh, what other languages I've got lurking in my brain. Uh, so, 
yeah, that'd be uh, that could be quite interesting. And uh, yeah, just in case there's anybody watching who's new to the channel, uh, ju yeah, I'll, I'll explain who I am and what I do. I I work at Hetter Huskies up in Finnish Lapland, and uh, we run husky safaris basically and uh, I do a lot of the building and the maintenance so basically I'm a carpenter stroke handyman and uh, yeah I make kennels I make cages the dogs eat them I have to repair them and yeah all of that kind of thing so. I think Uni's actually looking a bit thin. You'll have a bit extra food tonight. You will. We've got spam and mashed potatoes. Yes, we have. <laughs> yes. Can I get this to work? Am I tall enough? Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching again. And for your continued support over the last couple of years. Uh, yeah, there's been some shaky camera work. Uh, yeah, maybe not the best presentation in the world. But yeah, there's more important things. I think the content's important. And being able to think what to say is important. Or making notes, which is what an organised person would do. But... Uh, yeah, I've never been one of those. But, cheers. And I'll see you all again soon for another Cookly Bushcraft video. Bye for now. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, you know, uh, people do giveaways, right? Uh, maybe when I get to a thousand. Uh, yeah, I mean, seriously, I should be maybe thinking about doing giveaways. And... I think a thousand's a nice round number. And it'll be a couple of months off yet, uh, at least. But maybe I'll make a knife. Uh, I don't know, maybe one of these things. I really like these traditional Finnish axes, by the way. And they work. They're really, really quite effective. And... Uh, I'm not sure about the weight compared to the handle length with this one really, but yeah, I was supposed to be finishing the video. Okay, it's gone on for long enough. Thank you. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.